Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, another video. Now, um, I want to say that first of all, <laughs> I know Easter's here, and I'm confused by the way for everyone, I didn't actually say that in my video, the other part of warfare, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, but, I know it's Easter, and um, normally what I would think about doing, which is what I wanted to do, um, it's an actual video for Easter Day. Uh, I'll just some general interesting Easter eggs from uh, Call of Duty Zombies and things. And a lot of the zombies and so on. I'm putting them together into one uh, little video. I'll just go over some of the interesting Easter eggs we've had in general in all these games. Um, <laughs> like, really, really want to do it. But, I just generally don't want to do it. But this kind of voice, <laughs> and I was like, when I feel so crap, I just do not feel like doing something like that at the moment for that reason. So, I'm sorry about that. Obviously, it shouldn't have happened. I wish it didn't, but it stopped me, and it really annoys me. <laughs> but, instead, what? <laughs> oh, sorry about the coffee as well, like. Um, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start this new series which I was uh, planning to do recently. Um, and that is the Exploring Zombie Maps. So, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to fly around the zombie maps and we're just going to have a look around and see what we can find in all the zombie maps. Um, to find these little secrets and things that you don't normally find. And I will point out that some of the secrets that you'll find in this will actually make it into Easter egg videos later on that I do. Um, and some of them are already in Easter egg videos that I've done, I've just not put up yet. Um, <coughs> so, yeah. Well, you're just going to look around at um, the whole of the map, including the outside bit. Uh, so you guys can have a look at some of the interesting things that are in Kino. It's a very, very interesting map when you look around outside it. I'll say that much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do this for the Black Ops 1 maps. Hopefully Black Ops 2 and possibly Black Ops 3 if possible. Uh, 2. And yeah, we'll just have a look around and see what interesting stuff Shreya have done. I mean, they do actually put a lot of detail into the... Uh, outside part of the zombie maps, which is always kind of interesting in my opinion. But yeah, so let's go on with it, shall we? So each of the got the starting room. Now this bit down here is actually in a video of mine that hasn't gone up yet. And I can't remember if it ever went into my Kino video. Um, in the past, I did have all the different Easter eggs in Kino. I don't think it did, but it might have done. And, um, it's all the different perk bottles, or some of them anyway, um, inside this little, little cabinet here, and as you can see, you've got a double tap there, and you've got quick revive, quick revive again, <laughs> little shot glasses, uh, there is another bottle there, which you can't really make out as anything um, important, I think it's either a bottle of vodka, which is like meant to be a little Easter egg to, um, Nikolai, or it's just a general bowl, but it's just there. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. Uh, this is the old design for the Speed Cola uh, logo on the bottle here. This is back when they used to have Speed Cola with the little red and yellow in the middle, rather than what it is now, which is actually green and white. Um, but yes, there's Speed Cola next to a shot glass, so that we showing there. <laughs> Uh, if we go up to the top, I'll try the list here. We've got more of those vodka-like bottles. Uh, but we've also got a jug here. <coughs> as you can see. Uh, with small shot glasses. And then we've got Quick Revive again. Now, there's a lot of Quick Revive references inside this cabinet. I'm... Actually, how many are there? Because I might be rethinking this while I'm just uh, saying that. One, two... There's just three of them. Oh... Okay, I'm not actually reading about what I was going to say. I was going to say that um, there's probably a lot of quick revives because it's right next to the quick revive machine, but I just thought of something else now. The fact that there's only three quick revives in there um, could be possibly sort of indicating a little Easter egg, I suppose, from their perspective. 
uh, of solo on zombies because don't forget in Kino in theory was the first ever map where on solo quick revive um, cost 500 and when you went down you actually got back up and stuff like that and it wasn't like that in World of War obviously instead it was just used for mic there uh, so yeah this was the first game where they did that and you only ever get three attempts with quick revive Three drinks, and then uh, the fact she disappears. So I'm wondering if that is an Easter egg here. Or did it just come up to my mind now? Um, of there being three quick revives inside here. Uh, it is very, very possible that that is an Easter egg. And I, I actually, uh, I think it is. I can even find where I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I think that possibly is easy. I've never looked at it that way before. So yeah, anyway, there you go. I'll let you guys decide what you think that is all about. <laughs> like I said, there will be a little Easter egg things in this video, um, as well as exploring. But yeah. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> There's a few of couples I just whacked off the shelf. Uh, right. So, which room should I start with first? I think I'm going to leave that bit over there so I go out double that way. Just because it's quite big, so let's go here first. I don't think there is actually anything in this bit. This room is a bit weird, it's just a black room. <laughs> That's literally all there is to it. Um, there's nothing more in it, so we'll leave that on. Uh, we'll go over here. So here's one of the back rooms. Uh, as you can see over here, um, and this is where they spawn sometimes. And while I'm here, I might as well go through this. Um, <coughs> Kino actually points out quite a few different zombie maps um, that were coming out in the future, which people obviously didn't know about back in the time of Kino. But uh, when they released these future maps and they went back to Kino, they realised that these were little Easter eggs. And, um, Here's one of them here, which is a ship <coughs> in the Arctic, sort of Siberia, something like that. I presume it's basically meant to be. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, um, and then it's got three guys at the top, and um, it looks like it's in Siberia or Serbia or whatever. Um, and this is actually a poster that's an Easter egg to Call the Dead. Um, because if you look at it, you can recognise that the ship <coughs> there is uh, trapped on the ice, all blocked in. Uh, you can see that it's got the crew up at the top. Obviously, it hasn't got um, the girl in there, or the woman, whatever. It hasn't got them in there, or George Mayer, or anything like that, because they weren't going to give that away. But it also hasn't got the main three guys there. But that's what it's trying to indicate. Um, so, yes, yeah, that is uh, Call of Death right there. Uh, anyway, uh, we carry on going in here. Uh, we can see this one here too. Now, this is an interesting post of this because before um, <coughs> Shadows of Evil came out, I used to think that this post was an easter egg to, um, well, basically Shangri-La um, because of the fire demon of shangri and stuff like that. Um, and that's what I presumed that it was, but I've got two other perspectives of what this could be, and I don't precisely know which one of the three is actually correct. It's, um, it's a hard one to tell this one, it's an interesting poster. So, one of them could have been Shangri-La, like I originally thought back in the past. Uh, it could now be Mob of the Dead, as the devil is the one that controls the zombies in there. Um, and that, to me, that poster looks like the devil making a deal or something with uh, the weasel. And that would be the knight at the bottom there. Um, which could indicate the mob of the dead part. Because obviously the devil makes a deal with the weasel. Um, that he could leave and escape if he killed the others. Um, or that could be the devil laughing at the others who are fighting him. I, I don't know. Like I'm saying, it's all a bit uh, touch and miss here, this. Um, <coughs> and then the final one, with Shadows of Evil. Because if you think about it, the Shadow Man, 
Wisdom, which, which is kind of like the devil in some ways. Um, or Cthulhu, even, the squid thingy, <laughs> which is a bit like a devil too. Um, try to get these uh, four characters to obviously give them the something key which will allow them to do anything they want in the uh, universe, basically. Uh, and it's very dangerous that they have that. And obviously they don't allow that to happen. And Rick Tommy gets it. Spoilers as you uh, didn't really know. Probably should have said that before, but there you go. Um, <laughs> I presume everyone's very sure as you all think you should by now. Anyway. That kind of reminds you show as you as well, because of the whole laughing Shadow Man, almost laughing at the other characters trying to figure out how they can get themselves out of this hell whereas they never are gotta get out of that hell it's impossible for them to ever leave they're stuck there forever um so yeah it's just that's another thing it could look like that uh you guys can tell me what you think um of this in the comments below i obviously don't know it's a bit it be easy to me and i haven't decided which one is correct and which one isn't so yeah, it's up to you what you guys think. Let me know. There's many possibilities, like I said, though. Uh, oh, and uh, here's another little Easter egg here, the little portrait. <coughs> now this, this reminds me of Moon. I know you're probably looking at it going, what part of that reminds you of Moon? Right, so, first of all, that's, um, if you look at the head, of the female, I presume it's a ghost or a statue, I'm not sure. Um, neither an alien. Um, if you look at the head, it's in the shape of a pyramid, a triangle. Now, if we remember on Moon, there's the MPD, which is the, the big pyramid thing that's in that uh, power room area. Um, now, if we look at the figure, we can see it's a woman, or a girl, or whatever. Now, if we go back to the moon again with the MPD, we can see Samantha inside the MPD, inside the pyramid, which indicates, like, again, it almost seems like that is trying to, um, hang on a sec, guys, there we go. It's almost like it's trying to indicate that that is the moon, the Easter egg poster. It's Venus, what well, I think it is, and... Obviously, you have five different opinions, it's fine, <laughs> I'm not objecting to that. It's just that seems very clear to me that that is trying to show Moon for what it is now. And um, that's why I believe. But yeah, <laughs> you guys tell me what you think. The least thing to know what you guys think. Right, so let me go in here and we have a look around. We have a look around in here. This is one of the areas where they swarm. Well, I don't know who originally uh, Chaok actually planned to use this room at the top, because obviously you could use the room down the bottom. But I don't think they ever planned to use this room at the top. The only reason why I question it is because of this door here, which leads to the back of punch anyway. But also, these portraits here. Now, now, I know that we have portraits further down, which I know a lot of people know about now, but I will go over them anyway when we get to them. Um, but you've got these portraits here, and it seems like it's a possibility. Now, there is something I wanted to go over for these portraits here. So, the other portraits that you see show the characters as they are in Kino now, uh, which I'm going to call for now the original crew. Um, and that's obviously Nick Clyde, Dempsey, Takeo, Rick Duffin. And uh, you see all their portraits further down in another corridor. Now, these four portraits here, they're black. They're, they're just completely blank. Now, the way that I see these portraits now is that they could be trying to show off the other version of our characters as in the original crew. So these portraits here, I think I try to show off the Origins crew. Obviously Nikolai, Dempsey, Takeo, Rick Duffin in their Origins forms rather than the original form. Um, and I think that's what it's trying to show here because if you think about it in some ways, the shadows are trying to sort of show that they're the, almost the good 
but also, also could, could be bad, bad side of the original crew. Uh, you, you don't, don't really know. know. <laughs> That's, That's the, the idea, idea of it, I believe. But I'm going to go with good versions of the original crew, the ones that are trying to fix things, because that's what it seems like at the moment. Obviously, I could be wrong, but things could change. The zombies are alive, still carrying on Black Ops 3 at the moment. So random things can happen, and I have absolutely no idea. Um, but yes, that's what I believe. <coughs> it is a real possibility uh, that these pictures were a little Easter eggs for the Origins crew, um, which, which were planned ages before, um, but we had no idea about it. But that's just my theory of it anyway, or it could be, I don't know, some other characters which we haven't actually seen yet, or it could be even a reference to the transit crew. I'm going to go with the Origins crew because it fits more with the original characters and this map rather than any others. Uh, but yeah, that's just what I'm going to go with at the moment. Um, so yeah, you see it up here, there's not really a lot more to it. Uh, I also believe that this area was originally accessible because of this door. I believe they originally had the plan of actually uh, players would buy the door to get in here and get to the pack punch. Um, Same with the other side, rather than actually uh, teleporting. I think this is just like way, way, way before. Um, obviously it changed very easily and very quickly. Uh, but that's just what I believe. Right. Also, it would have been cool if they let you come up here and fight along these bits. That would have been fun. Anyway, so, uh, let's go this way. So, you've got this room as normal. Like I said, I believe that originally they used to let you go in through these doors, possibly, but I'm not certain of that. Uh, things change. <laughs> things could have been different. Uh, right, so we go to the toilet area. Uh, there we go, yeah. It's quite interesting actually, uh, the toilet area. Obviously it wasn't really finished because you, you, you literally can't really see. Um, but yeah, there's like, the whole sink area and stuff. And, uh, oh yeah, there's, there's, a, bit there's, a, bit of there's, there's a lot more to it. Um, here are the other pictures that I was going on about earlier of the original crew. Now while I'm here, I do want to explain some stuff for these. So, <coughs> you've obviously got uh, the original Dempsey, Nikolai, Takia, and Rick's uh, here. And you've also got this blank portrait, which I'm going to come along to in a second. Um, so, you're probably looking at this and you would think, why is Rick Coffin's portrait much bigger than the other three? Um, that is because Rick is like the Grand Master's group. He's the controller of them. They're all little pawns of his. He has full control of them. He can make them do whatever he wants. Um, he's like manipulated them and turned them into his little test subjects, which work. Um, and basically, his portrait is bigger because it shows that he's a master and uh, well, just the better person overall. And that's, that's why I think his portrait is bigger. bigger. Now, if we go over to the blank portrait over here, the shadow one, like the ones over there. Now, there's two things that this could be. This could be referencing Rick, I think, because if you think about this, uh, back when Boom wasn't released, and it was just Kino, and we had no idea if Boom was even going to happen, um, well, we look at that and we think, uh, okay, so nothing. <laughs> um, but Rick Tolkien becomes really evil in the mood and obviously goes into the pyramid and takes over the map of his body so that he controls the zombies. So the dark, shadowy picture here could be referencing the evil Rick Tolkien inside there in that portrait. Um, but that's one way of looking at it. Now, another way of looking at it is that's the evil Rick Tuffin over there. And then the little shadowy portrait here is very possibly either Maxis, which is very unlikely in my eyes, or the origins Rick Tuffin, showing a different side to Rick Tuffin. 
Because there's the evil Grandmaster Freak. <laughs> we'll call him over there. And then this would be the good Rick Dolphin that tried to mend the universe. Um, and that's the origin of Rick Dolphin. And that's the way that I look at this portrait now. I mean, <laughs> it could change again in the future for a while, but that's just one way I look at it. It'd be interesting to hear what you guys think about that too, so do let me know. Anyway, moving on. Uh, it can show you guys what it looks like for the crawlers to spawn in. There's like a little white box where they spawn in so they don't fall off the map. Uh, here's the staircase which they come up from. Nothing really special here, and here's the room underneath. Um, not a lot here again. Nothing out there. Right. <coughs> through here. Uh, here. Uh, keep going. Okay, let's go through here. There's not a lot here other than a blinking light. And uh, let's see, there's the dark. Oh, man. Right. And then we come down here, and here's like the little movie reel things that you get back in the, the path, <laughs> so you say for this. Uh, and yeah, they look pretty cool and stuff. And we go through here, and again, not a lot, <coughs> other than the spawning area, uh, which, that. Uh, now over here, here let is borrow his next speaker. I have a feeling, this is only a feeling in my opinion here. Yeah. I'm not confirming anything with this, but, but I believe that Treyarch was trying to show off Electric Jerry quite a long time ago in Kino, because why don't I come over here now and I look at this, and I look at, oops, I look at these bottles here. It just looks a bit like the bottle Cherry. Obviously, Cherry's different now, or like if it looks, uh, Cherry's uh, pinky purple, these sort of colour, and um, we well, yeah, had a little electric cherry in the middle and stuff. Now, um, when I read this bottle, to me, it looks like it says Cherry. It's very difficult to read, but I believe it says Cherry. Um, and it, it looks like the colour that Cherry could be. And I believe that back in Kino, Jay possibly had the idea of an electric cherry, but never actually came up with it in the right way, or it didn't really work well. So they didn't put it in until much later on. Or maybe they were just teasing us for what could possibly come in the future, which it did, uh, was electric cherry. So, this could have been an early concept of Electric Cherry, I don't know, but, again, you guys let me know what you think. Alright, moving on. Uh, now, this room here actually is the dressing room, and it does have a little secret in it. You won't be able to hear it in this video, sadly, because I had to turn the volume down because of the laughing Samantha. Uh, so you won't be able to hear it, but in this room there is actually a crying person. I believe it's a crying person, or maybe it was the knocking, I can't precisely remember now. Uh, actually, no, I think it was knocking, wasn't it? Um, but if you came over to this window, you can't see it. Knocking on the side. And so someone is actually stuck in here, trying to get out. Um, that could possibly be saying something in the past of maybe some months, or then they're getting dressed, they got stuck somewhere, and tried to knock to get out, and nobody could hear her. Uh, I don't know, but that was a little neat Easter egg that I always quite like about this room. Right, moving over here. Not a lot really, just a general generator and... Yeah, that's about it really. Uh, keep going. Okay, we're going here. And... If... Ah yeah, I will... Uh, you find a lot of interesting things inside these rooms over like here. Uh, like these little notes inside this book here, for example. There's that note there. Uh, 
I <laughs> have to admit, I've absolutely no idea what it means or what it says. <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone's actually figured that out, that bit there. If they have, please tell me if they have and tell me what it means because I have absolutely no clue. I just know that it exists. Uh, and then it's the same with this. Where, one, two, three, four, three, there we go. Uh, which you can read a bit of, it's actually got um, a little story to it, this little piece of paper, and it tells you a little bit about what really is uh, going on with Group 935 and how they're using it as a of and stuff. Um, I can't precisely remember it, but <coughs> I think it was talking about how they're using one to uh, make their weapons, like the ray gun and the thunder gun and stuff. Uh, you yeah, have to read it in more detail again. I haven't looked at that note for a very long time, but I believe that's what it said. Um, but yeah, that's a little easter egg for this room. You can actually see these things with a sniper rifle. Um, it's not easy, but that's why I zoomed in there. Uh, we then have these little crates here, which have a zombie face in them. <coughs> As you can see. <coughs> so, a lot of people speculate that this container contains uh, the cosmic silverback or a monkey or something or whatever. Uh, that's pretty plausible, of a bit. Could be true. But what I believe it most likely is, is a human being trapped inside these containers to be tested on uh, later on. And they become the number six rulers inside these containers, basically. That's what they all become. Um, so, that's what I believe it is. And I also have a believing theory that the number six rulers are actually the gatekeepers just been experimented on and, like, mutilated by Group 935 and then turned into what they are in Kino and that. Um, <coughs> And that's what I believe. So, I, I think, think that that's a person who's about to be turned into an over six ruler, or I should really say a gatekeeper that's about to be turned into one. Uh, but yeah, that, it's up to you what you believe for that. Uh, I can't tell you what to believe. You just believe what you believe. <laughs> right. A uh, little blood on the wall that I remember in Black Ops 1. Which was always shaped like this in certain areas. Which was, in my opinion again, trying to show the Grim Reaper. Uh, in each map, almost watching uh, the original crew and what they're doing. Uh, I don't know, it could be another thing, watching them, but yeah. I thought that was the Grim Reaper. Let me go in here. And again, we have got a lot in here. Jimbo stuff. And then I'll spawn a bit. <coughs> <coughs> Quickly look around the bit, so I'll just put it down. Um, a lot again. Very simple. Go here. Again, not a lot. Go through this area here. And if you go back here, you can actually see all the different containers back here again of uh, the uh, those six things being experimented on. And there's absolutely loads of them. So I think that Group 95 captured an awful lot of uh, whatever they are, humans or gatekeepers, and uh, <coughs> really wanted to see what they could do. So yeah, there's a lot of those around. Again, you get more on the boat here by Jug. Uh, and yeah, pretty much it for that area. Nothing more there. Quickly go to the pack a punch. Um, over here we've got some references to like the redrawings and stuff there. Uh, and you've got Max's. You've got Max's desk there. With his little badge. Uh, and then you've got some Edible 115 Rock. Uh, and that's it for that. Yeah.
stuff. Uh, yeah, pretty much it for those. Uh, yeah, well, that. There's nothing like actually in these buildings, they're just completely empty. Uh, they exist, obviously. <laughs> and then there's this big, huge, huge tower over here, which you see at the very back of the map. Uh, if you look out the double tap, maybe? And uh, it does look pretty cool. It's just a shame that you could actually go to it. Would have been pretty cool if you could. But yeah, there's the tower and the... That's all there really is to it. I know that back in the days you could glitch into the tower somehow. I don't remember that. Before you got out of the map. That was quite an interesting, but yeah. There's not a lot really in that tower, it's just all there. <laughs> Uh, now let's go to these rooms. So, so these, these are the rooms, uh, here's the normal room, room where <coughs> when you teleport back by the shaft, you might teleport, teleport to another room. room. Uh, so here's like, the rooms where they experimented on people. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, I suppose. There's not really a lot of here. Uh, not like this, I can't. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I noticed, noticed that they, they use maggots from Shino Nemo brought back in this little uh, floor, which kind of indicates that this is probably old uh, blood and stuff there. And most likely, uh, a lot of old experiments were there. If you go to this room here, you actually see uh, a zombie head on the floor. This is another one of the torture rooms that you see. Um, there's all the curtains closed and that, there's the zombie head on the floor. Um, so obviously it's more like head chopped off. <laughs> but yeah, you can never actually see the zombie head, so it's a bit strange that it's there. I think it was meant to be seen, but it never was. Um, but then if you actually come over to this room, I don't know if you can hear it normally when you're there, but you can actually hear someone banging inside on this metal door here, which you see in the Kino um, screen when you're loading at the, uh, sorry, when you're at the zombies menu screen. Um, you can see this door which gets shut, there's the guys inside it being tested on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that I think might be a little bit strange when the guy bangs on the door trying to get out. Uh, but this is that, this is that one. All the others are here. So here's, here's the, the hellish, hellish Samantha room. Now, in the zombie storyline so far, we haven't really seen anything at all that will go and indicate the hell of Samantha room. Uh, nothing. Like, like, we've never, never seen her room look like this before, uh, other than just teleporting. Um, I, I think, think this room could possibly be showing the future, maybe, of what could happen, or maybe it's just showing something of what might have happened, or what did happen at the end of Black Ops 2, but we never saw it. Uh, so, the teddy bear is obviously something to do with the man, um, she's evil in this world. When, when she's in the pyramid and stuff, I've tried to kill off Group 935. Um, she's basically an evil kid <laughs> in the pyramid. Um, <coughs> and she uh, pretty much controls the zombies and stuff. And then eventually, obviously, um, Rick Topper gets in control. And then at the end of Black Ops 2, depending on which enemy you choose, if you choose Rick Topper and Samantha, is basically killed, um, and it's gone, gone forever, uh, along with Max. So this could be showing what could have happened to the month or if uh, that ending came true. She might have just gone to hell, or this could have been in her room in hell, or something, I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, that's a possibility of it all. Uh, also, this little bit here is actually the map of Kino, which I always found a bit strange, but... There you go. I, I never can, can explain that one. There's no way of explaining it other than 
the origins and the cutscene when, when they're playing games with each other at the end of the month. Uh, when they're playing on different zombie maps in like these little areas here. Um, they see that, that could have been their little board game of them playing on Kino or something, I, I don't really know. But, yeah, that's all I can say for this room. Oh, I bet somebody also tried to break it and kill her. <laughs> Otherwise, there's not a lot else to say about it. Then we've got an awesome mountain room here, here which obviously has a monkey bomb in it, holding a grenade as well, I'd point out. Uh, and, yeah, there's a nice like, happy looking room, room. There's, there's a bloody teddy, teddy bear, bear, which is always nice. Um, <laughs> this is very, very different from the origins of the Indian Wars. Then you've got a little Easter egg again of the perk bottles. All the four main ones, ones right, right there, there, and a little teddy bear. Um, I can't. Oh, come on. Yeah, that'll do. There's like a few clothes in here, and all those little cigarette, cigarette things that you can sort of see. I can't really move, because I just fly out, see. But yeah, that's a little spot there. Again, you have the uh, Kino there, set this time with trees in it as well, and also the original crew. And you also have a massive teddy bear. <laughs> um, which, which could be indicating that Samantha throws is in control of the game and is trying to torture them while they're trying to do what they do. Uh, and stop them. Because obviously that's what she's always been trying to do, the original Samantha. Um, but yeah, yeah, that could again be another game of Eddie and Samantha's. And yeah, that's what they look like. It's really difficult to do, by the way. <laughs> There you go. Uh, then you've got, obviously, oh, so and chess game here, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's <laughs> nothing more to this room that you've already seen, so we'll move on to the next one. Which is... Where is the... Uh, oh, it's one of there. Uh, you've also got these teleporting rooms, which I like, really need to show you, but... They show different, different pictures each time of different things that happen and I really don't want to look at that. Especially <laughs> when I feel like this. Like it all <laughs> it doesn't help. Um But yeah. These are just things that you can really see in the game anyway in the teleport room. Uh which show you pretty much all the different pictures that you see. Uh, and then the last room that we have to go through for keynote is uh, this room right here, which is the it's interesting actually, because I don't know why it's actually in Kino. I can't understand why it's in Kino. Um, but you teleport to one of the areas in the Pentagon. This is an area in the Pentagon basically. Uh, in five. And uh, the base is the Ascension Rocket right there. Uh, a little blue room at the Ascension Rocket side show. Uh, you can interact with the rocket by the way. Um, and there's just generally yeah, all the other stuff for the US uh, documents and things. And, yeah, well, it's weird that it's in Kino because it doesn't fit into Kino. I don't quite understand why it is in Kino. I can't answer that. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Um, and also you've got like little campaign levels that you see uh, for the first mission. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, and there's Richard Nixon. <laughs> which is always uh, a little round of disease and still kind of cool. And there's another one of the um, notes about the weapon that you see. And the little symbol there too. Uh, which hasn't been answered yet. Because we don't know what it is. Um, and yeah, that's it really. So yeah. That's it. That's a whole keto show to you guys, all the little secrets that you can find in keto. There are a few. Um, there's more than you might think, honestly. Not loads, but there's a few. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd share that with you today. Um, with you guys, obviously. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the series, me going through the maps and showing you all the different things that are inside them. As well as going over the little mini Easter eggs and things that are inside them too. Um, 
and me explaining what, what I think they are, are and stuff. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, I'd love to know your guys' opinions on all the things that I talked about in the studio too. And uh, sorry about the cold, obviously. <laughs> I can't really help it. I feel like crap, but still, I did a video. Um, and I hope you can forgive me for the voice and stuff too. But I'm glad it was a year done to you guys and got it up. Um, so you guys could see this. And yeah, well, that's pretty, pretty much it, to be honest. All summed up everything that I've seen and gone through in keto. Uh, so now you see the whole entire map of what it is. And all the little mini secrets and easter eggs that you so if you guys could please leave a like, that would be much appreciated. If you do, and you just clicked on this video and you've never heard my channel before, uh, go ahead and check it out. You've got lots of zombie stuff on there. Uh, as well as the, not just giving out the easter egg things, the strategies and uh, the general tours around that and things like that too. Uh, to help out any newcomers to the maps and so on. Uh, good good training spots and things too. Uh, tips on how to actually wear these zombies. And yeah, there's, there's loads of other things that I've done on my channel as well, like the campaigns for Call of Duty, the uh, style games and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, please go check out my channel and subscribe, that'll be all to be here. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.